Rose and welcome to my channel. So in a previous video I made beer from a kit. Now it, it was actually quite a nice beer, it went down very well and there is none left. So I fancied my hand at trying making another one. But doing it the normal way is, well it's normal, it's been done. So I am making a pure adjunct beer. In my case I am using nothing but long grain rice. Now you can't malt long grain rice, this white rice, because it can't be germinated. So instead, I'm going to be replacing that enzyme with an artificial one. In my case, a home brewing supply called amylase. Now, um, it's used a lot in winemaking to remove the hazes, the starch haze from wine, which is pretty cool. But in our case, I'm going to be using it to break down the carbohydrates into simple sugars so our yeast can ferment it. So it's going to be a light kind of Chinese style beer, which is hopefully going to be nice. Um, I'm going to be using 1.5 kilos of this rice to make the beer. Now that should come out about 7.4% if it all works. So it is slightly high, but at the same time, I'm not expecting this amylase to do great things. So we shall see. And if it works, well, it just opens up a whole door of opportunity. So apart from your usual home brewing supplies you're going to need, you're also going to need a cheeky thermometer. Not like this one, any thermometer will do. Uh, that's because a temperature range for mashing and turning the starches into sugars. So uh, I'm going to get set up and we're going to get started. Right, so I've got myself set up. I've got some boiling water which just speeds up the process. A big enough pan that will hold five liters that are, you can use a smaller pan and do it in different batches or even use a rice steamer. But the first part, we're just going to take our rice and cook it. Grains, grains. That looks like a lot of rice and we've still got half a kilo to go. Awesome. Unfortunately, I only need half a kilo of this, so roughly half a bag goes in. Okay, slightly more. Lame! And now I am literally just going to cook the rice like you would at home. Add in some boiling water. but no salt. That's how I'll see you once this rice is cooked. So I've left this to cook for about 20 minutes. Um, it, it took a while, I had to keep adding water to it to make sure it didn't stick to the pan. But that's okay because this is a one pan idea, which is cool because we have plenty left. And what we're left with is cooked rice and this really gelatinous liquid. Now that's the stuff we're going to be using to make our rice beer. Now, this is way too hot to add in our amylase, uh, amylase, amylase solution, our enzymes to convert these thick, long-chain starches into simple sugars. So I'm going to cool it down in my sink using a water bath until it gets down to about 67 degrees. That's when I'm going to be adding in our lovely amylase solution to convert the, the long-chain carbohydrates into sugars. Now, that works out, as I wrote it down here, it's approximately 156 Fahrenheit, so fingers crossed. So I'm going to go do that. And so I've cooled this down in my water bath and I kept stirring it. I had to change to a metal spoon because as it cooled down, the starches started to gelatinize and get a lot thicker, as you can tell. So it is now down to the 67 degrees, slightly warmer in certain areas, but it's all in acceptable levels. And I've got myself a load of towels and I'm going to put a plate over the top and then cover that in towels so it gives this the longest time possible hopefully of enough heat to make the amylase break down uh, all this carbohydrate so there is no exact science to this as far as I'm aware no one has actually done a measured amount so I kind of thought if you're doing an all grain batch each individual grain is only going to give you milligrams of amylase so I'm working on the theory 
that kind of two or three teaspoons will be more than enough. So sprinkle it on. Yummy. That's one and a half. That makes two. Might as well finish that one off. It was part used. And I've got my other one. And three. So I'm hoping that this will break down uh, these starches. So I'm going to mix it in and then I'm going to seal it up. Don't need you anymore. My big spoon. That is pretty thick. So, yeah, I'm going to seal it up and see what happens. And last but not least, there we go. My present wrapping skills just knew no ends. So, I'll be back in about an hour. And we'll give it a check. It, it has been over an hour actually, it's been an hour and a half. And let's go and check this out. I don't need that anymore. Don't need you. And instantly I can already see that this is a lot more liquid. It's a lot easier to move. And yeah, so let's give it a taste. So it's instantly nowhere near as starchy as it was, but it's not really that sweet, which isn't surprising because it is a lot of volume currently of liquid so I have got myself a sieve oh yes and I'm doing it the hard way because I'm not a beer maker and I'm basically just going to remove as many of these grains as possible and be left with a liquid so I'm not going to bore you with the very very long process of doing this so we're going to skip ahead and I'll show you when we're completed yay so actually it didn't really take that long which I'm kind of surprised about since this is all gloopy so I've done a first pass and I removed pretty much all the liquid I could, which is in this pan. It's milky. So I'm going to do a second rinse. I've got myself some hot water and all this rice and I'm just literally going to pass it through this sieve and uh, yeah, add some water to it. Trying to extract all the starchy goodness that I can. This could take a minute. So all the grains have been rinsed and thrown away and now we're just left with a lovely milky rice, mildly sweet solution. So I'm just going to finish the last bit by adding these back in. Look at that, it just goes right through. And now basically I'm going to leave this overnight because uh, it's getting late so I will see you in the morning. So it is the next day. Um, it's my fault because I started it late, but it's done. I mean, it's finished. It's it's now nice and cool. It is not sterile, I'd like to point out, so I will have to reheat it, but that step isn't necessary if you do it all in one day. My conversion of the starches into sugars wasn't as good as it could have been. Now, I did do a bit of research, and it turns out that I should have crushed my grains, my rice grains, to extract more of the carbohydrates in it. So basically I threw a lot of the carbohydrates away. That was, that was my bad. Um, but the process does work so you can in theory do it. But I'm still interested to find out how it tastes. So I am going to cheat and I am going to add in 200 grams of sugar. So this 6.5 liter container, which I removed the um, rice out of, has 60 grams of sugar per liter, which is cool. So when I reduce this down on the hob to uh, a cheeky one gallon batch, which is going to be slightly over 4.5 liters, there will be roughly 75 grams of sugar in there per liter, which is not bad, but it's still a bit low for my liking. So just to bump it up a little bit, I'm going to be adding 200 grams of sugar. I did say I wasn't going to do it, but 
I got the conversions and the process wrong. If you're doing it, you can learn from my mistake. So I'm going to set up and start boiling this down and, um, and, and adding the sugar. So you've really seen this process before. I've put it on the uh, hob till I can sterilize it and reduce the liquid down slightly. And since I'm also going to heat this liquid up, I'm going to add in my sugar now. Uh, alas, the best laid plans. So in goes my sugar. Oh well, it was going to be an all grain, but yeah, I kind of had to, I messed it up. Oh well. But you get to learn from my mistakes, so that's always good. And now I am going to quite literally let this reduce down uh, to the amount that I need, which is going to be cool, and I know it is about there. So uh, I'm just going to keep going. Awesome. So it's been a couple of hours. I needed to go out shopping and whatnot. So I've covered this up. I've just taken it all off. So we're back where we are. It is nice and cool now. So I know that I can pitch the yeast and it will work. So I've got my pre-sterilized container, which I've rinsed out, it's all ready to go. And I've even went as far as to take a small hydrometer reading, and it is reading, quite literally, 1.040. So we shall see how this turns out. So it is a bit of a shame I did have to add sugar to it, but uh, it was a bit on the weak side. Eh, live and learn. But, take this out. It's an interesting concept, and it's something I think I'm going to play with a bit more. So let's just pour this bad boy in, since I know I've strained out all the rice. Uh, that is clear liquid. I've mixed this up, so it is milky. As you can see. So I have gone ahead and I've added my lovely one gallon of uh, juicy juice into it. Now this, just to make sure even though I've already taken a reading. And yeah, we are hovering right at 1.040, exactly as this other reading, this clear liquid, uh, which I'm not gonna use just because this isn't actually sterile, so just leave it there. So it is uh, measuring 1.040. So that says it has the potential alcohol of 6%, but it's not going to ferment to dryness. So we're probably going to be looking at about 4, 4.5%, maybe. So uh, yeah, now I'm going to pitch my yeast. And quite slim, uh, simply, I'm going to be using my um, cider yeast, just because I want to know how this tastes. Eh, there we go. I'm just going to add in a little blob, like so. Now, just put on the lid and unscrew it slightly. There we go. So it's on, but not firm. Otherwise, it will explode. I got asked the question the other week. So even though this does look kind of milky, um, it's not. It is clear. I do have a little trial sample that I've got right here. And it is clear. So interesting. Interesting. It wasn't my original video and the time gaps between it weren't ideal. Uh, like I said, life gets in the way, unfortunately. But in theory, we have created a semi-mashed, technically, rice beer, just with rice. So I will be very interested to see its flavors, its profiles, and hopefully the sugar. I mean, it was only 200 grams of sugar, but still, we added sugar. So I'm going to have to retry this recipe again, but it's interesting to see what's going to happen. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe, and of course share. And um, yeah, this will be a bit of a laugh, so let's see what happens. See you in the next video, guys. Take care.